Yeah, it's Tales from the Jails with John G. Sutton. Today I'm going to talk about the punishment block at Strange Ways. It seems to be a lot of people ask me questions about what actually went on down the block and was it as violent as people say it was. And uh, of course, I can't tell you what it's like today because I haven't visited the block for a long time. But uh, I'll tell you what it was like way back when. Thanks very much for watching this channel and uh, do like and subscribe. It, it helps a great deal. Thank you very much. And don't forget to buy my book, by the way, it's on Amazon. Anyway, uh, there's a link down below as well. You can click on that, take you straight to it. Uh, I'm going to talk about the block. All right, down the block when I was at Strange Ways, there was a gang that ran it. I'm talking about a gang because basically it, it was. And they were put there by the governor, Norman Brown. Now, Norman Brown was a, a real screws governor. He believed that his staff could do no harm. He could complain about them. It wouldn't make any difference. He just said, uh, you know, you've volunteered to come in here and my staff are making sure that you don't... Uh, don't get out of hand and uh, if you're down the block you're down the block but the problem with the block was that it kind of got out of hand in my opinion because the the staff there were a law virtually a law to themselves and don't forget I mean they're very decent people well I mean I just knew them as uh, fellow officers uh, the school bully the black dog Chinese money box all the rest of them uh, they, were, they were just fellow officers to me and I worked down there on an infrequent basis but I did work down there many days not a long, quite a long time actually on and off but uh, the, I wasn't part of the permanent staff on the block what normally would happen in strange ways was let's say you decided you were a tough guy and you got to kick off on the landings and give the landing officer a bit of uh, verbal then uh, you get snatched literally what the staff would grab you hold you down disempower you make sure that there was an officer for each arm and leg yeah uplift you off the floor and run you down the block throw you into the cell where they would rip your clothes off so you'd be in the cell empty cell uh, and rip all your clothes off and then you get a meeting with the school bully who would uh, usually say something along the lines of uh, uh, you're, you're here now you've got 10 seconds to hit me take your shot because after 10 seconds I'm going to administer the best beating you've ever had in your life and generally speaking, uh, people just didn't do it. They didn't hit the school bully. They just took the beating, which was freely administered. No charge. Here you go. It comes with the block. Welcome to Strange Ways. At a sign above the, 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 the entrance to the block, it said, uh, Stop complaining. You are all volunteers. Well, in a way they were, but I mean, people don't volunteer to get beaten up, do they? And I saw people who were being abused, people who were being having their food contaminated. You know, they, they were putting filth into the food and mixing it in. I th thought I was appalling. I saw one a great big hefty jailer got the soup tureen from lunchtime, put it on the floor and pissed in it and I said uh, what on earth are you doing that for and seriously all he said was that'll teach them bastards I said you don't know, teach them anything because they don't know uh, but there was no I spoke to the senior officer who, on the, on, who was running the block about this and uh he said, I get about your duties, don't tell me things like that. So it was pointless. You couldn't you couldn't make a complaint. Well, you, if you did, I mean, 
likelihood is you're going to get a backhand to yourself because <laughs> they weren't averse to actually clatter in staff as well quite quite crazy that place the block at strange ways if you found yourself down there you were one step beyond one step beyond you were out, out of the nobody was going to help you down there they used to get the board of visitors going round and of course before the board of visitors went round they got a visit from the school bully and the black dog and all the rest said uh, you make any complaints about us you're going to get a visitation when they've gone so nobody complained I mean when you've had a, a few good items and you're not going to volunteer for many more I've seen people like Dominic Noonan now Dominic Noonan was a, a small time crook who thought he was uh, Manchester's answer to Ronnie Cray. Seriously, he liked little boys, usually about 14, 15, 16, that age, because uh, he was uh, interfering with little boys. He liked that, dressed them up nicely, and uh, they followed him around everywhere because he was like their hero. And he was generally extorting money from people by met with menaces and I saw him on television he said that I was too tough for strange ways they couldn't do nothing with me there I know for a fact that Dominic Noonan was down the block crying for his mummy because believe me I didn't see anybody win down there the only winner on the block at strange ways was the block right so that's a little talk about strange race block and they were they were booting people up and down the landing i interfered intervened and uh, honestly thought the staff were going to snatch me but i i intervened on uh, one terrible beating where they were kicking this guy up and down the landing and he was his body was impregnated with the boot polish from their shoes you know where they kicked him anyway got a new series coming out it's called coffee break crime should start up in the next week I think I'll put a link down here when it happens it's a warning now that's a song dinger folks and I'm gonna sing you a song today instead of reading a poem this is a song that I wrote in 1990 for the American trouser-splitting perverted pop star P.J. Proby and you can check this out online in fact I'll tell you what I'll do I will put a link down there to P.J. Proby singing my song it's called Stage of Fools it, it, it basically is telling the story about his life because he threw it away I mean, he had a marvellous opportunity there. He was on with the Beatles. He was headlining tours around the UK. And what did he do? He ripped his kex, popped his todger out on stage and got himself sacked. And his career never quite recovered from that. Quite what he thought he was playing as, I don't know. Uh, and he got tried for attempted murder. He was imprisoned. I mean, I got him out of jail once. He, he battered his bloody landlady. Oh, the man was a pervert. And then he, he tried to involve me in uh, grooming an 11-year-old girl. I dealt with that by reporting him to social services. And that was the end of my association with PJ Proper. People say, well, how come nobody reported Jimmy Savile? Well, let me tell you, as soon as you step out of the ranks and start blowing the whistle on these people, you're out. The door's shut. <coughs> When I reported PJ Proby, we'd just recorded an album. It was called Thanks, the album, a CD album. I had distribution all over Europe with BMG. I had distribution in the UK with John Menzies' group. What happened? He refused to promote it. We had TV offers, everything, because they were all amazed that the PJ Proby could come back because he had an amazing voice. Well, folks, I haven't got an amazing voice as you have no doubt worked out by now but I am going to sing you this song that I wrote Stage of Fools 
Some friends tell me I am still the same. The world keeps turning, was out of blame. I took all the chances, I broke all the rules. Then I fell on the stage of fools. I fought the fight. I couldn't win, dreamed all the dream, and dreamed again. I played my part, it broke my heart, then I fell on this stage of fools. You know, this life, it's a funny thing. We can't all be winners, we can't always win. I took the risks in this world of schemes, never a winner, but I dared to dream. My friends tell me, well I'm still the same, the world keeps turning, was I to blame? Took all the chances, broke all the rules, then I fell on the stage of fools. You know, th this life, well, it's a funny thing. We can all be winners, we just can't always win. I took the risk in this world of schemes. I was never a winner, but I dared to dream. Some friends tell me I'm still the same. The world keeps turning, was out of blame. Took all the chances, broke all the rules. And I fell on this stage of fools. I fought the fight. Oh, I couldn't win. Dreamed all the dreams and, and I dreamed again. I played my part. It broke my heart. Then the curtain falls. On this stage of fools, this stage of fools. I'll put a link down below. You can listen to PJ probably singing that. Tales from the jails, folks.